Uh, the president-elect is about to come out of the motorcade right now as he enters the White House. Again, he just left a prayer service, a very traditional church service, where there were no media and no cameras allowed. Here's another vantage point. Of course, cameras obviously stationed all around here. You know, what's this, what's this going to be like, Tom? Tom Serafin joins us right now as the president exits uh, the motorcade right now. He's going to be meeting with President Bush. How long is this going to, you know, they're going to have coffee together. What, what's the purpose of this? I know well, it's very historic. It's ceremonial because you're passing the torch. Uh, there is no country in the world that does it as well as we do in making the transition of power in the most powerful country in the free world. I mean, th this is a great example of democracy working in action. He goes into the White House, they come back out, they're going to go to the inauguration platform, take the swearing in, then he's going to go his way, and then the, uh, President Bush will go his way, and he's gone. It's it's over with for him in a matter of an hour and a half. There you see uh, Joe Biden and his wife. Joe Biden red. also, right? right. Right. I, I thought the yellow outfit that she was wearing is beautiful. I stunning on her, And it works so well because it flows. Uh, it completely flows. People that expect better economic conditions a year from now, according to the polling data, 43 percent this year when Bush was elected, 18 percent. But the problem is you can't have 43 percent better economic conditions a year from now when the recession is going to last us at least a year, two years. That's one of the reasons Barack Obama is telling people we need to all pitch in. We need to take our time here. Things are going to be tougher before they get better. Um, the expectations are so high on this man. We have to be realistic. What, what I find kind of interesting as well is that, uh, you know, today you have a transition and you know, President Bush and his wife, obviously the first lady, are going to be moving out of their home. Right. <laughs> in one day and then this whole new family is going to come in and I, my understanding from you know from talking to some folks is well let's, let's look at the president right yeah. now let's just let's talk about his demeanor because we mentioned this before he seems very confident and one thing he told his transition team as he was preparing for his inaugural address was he said I don't sweat you've never seen me sweat right, right, right. <laughs> the president very cool, very cool. Uh, and his attitude is we can handle anything if we do it with a sense of calm and purpose and respond appropriately. He's not one to fly off the handle. There you see the incoming and the outgoing. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful picture of American democracy working. And you with just the saw guards on each side. Right. And you just saw also the president-elect, or maybe Michelle Obama, give uh, First Lady Laura Bush uh, a present there. Right. Right. As you said, this we're the only country that's able to do this so seamlessly. Right. And, and as, as soon as they leave the White House. Yeah. 93 staff members are going to gather and unload the trucks and put their clothes in the closet. Everything will be perfect four hours from now. Basically, he's going to go to the parade after the inauguration. Right. That truck's going to pull up. These 93 people are going to go in, move all of their stuff in, make it their home. Right. Correct? And do whatever they have to do inside and everything put the is china smart. away or whatever it is. Yeah. And then right. when they come home, everything will be put away. It's, it's, it's not it's, half bad. It's, if you blink an eye and there it is yeah. for you. All right, so now we've just witnessed a very historic moment here at Washington, D.C.